Hey, welcome back to the really big show. It's 1032. Our question of the day, what's the last book you read? Uh, you heard my answer on Sunday. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway, here's a lady, uh, Kathy, I believe is the way you pronounce it, but Dorothy Benton Frank. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. lady just died. I right? know. She's passed yes. away. A lot of us are reading Queen Bee right now because that was her last one that she just wrote. Yeah. Marion Dobson says, The Simple Faith of Mr. Rogers. Huh. I would is that a movie that too? you would like that one. Yeah. You know, you just gotta well, find one you like. I just don't always have the attention span to. Cause you gotta find something you like. You, you grab, you find one that just grabs you from the beginning, like Stephen King. Yeah. I mean, those are long. I like to reread books, like when, from when I read when I was younger. Yeah. Like the when I'm older. different every just, time you read. No, just to see no. how, like how you've changed as a person, uh -huh. how you yeah. interpret what you read a long time ago. So the last book I read was uh, "Let Your Life Speak." By oh. Parker Palmer. I read it in college, and now it has a total different meaning. <laughs> now to you're me. like, I get it. <laughs> now I, I get, get what you were trying to say. Elise Fleming, she says the book is "Does the Noise in My Head Bother You?" <laughs> by <laughs> Stephen Tyler. I love it. <laughs> Jessica Daly says uh, "Gretel in the Dark," mm -hmm. so good. And then Nicholas Sparks. Yes, I was. Everybody say loves that. Nicholas Sparks. And you know, I wonder if his house was. He was. He lives at Emerald Isle. Oh, does he? Towns it yeah, she's seen all that. It's yeah. from Bow Hickett Road. Ooh, yeah. It's crazy. Well, speaking <clears throat> of houses, if you're looking for a new one, our friend Dan Hamilton from Dan Hamilton and Company at Keller Williams has some ideas for you. So let's take a look. We're going to start in Greer at Seven Brunner Court. This one is 219. It's a great open floor plan. It is a three bedroom, two and a half bath, convenient east side location, kind of right across from that east side Riverside Park. You're going to have a formal living room, lots of wainscoting. That's nice, spacious, two-story, great room. There's also a half bath on the main levels for guests, and upstairs features a large master. There's also two more bedrooms upstairs that share a hall bath with dual vanity sinks. And y'all, it's an award-winning school zone, so that's oh, good news. That, that makes a difference. In Simpsonville on Apple Hill Way, right under 100,000, 199 $199.9. A one-level home, front porch, of course, as you walk in the front door, that would make sense, gas logs. And the kitchen features new appliances, uh, refrigerators, appliances. There's a kitchen island in the kitchen and a breakfast area beside that. The fully fenced-in backyard is uh, another plus. The master suite features a long walk to, uh, yeah, a large walk-in closet, garden tub, and a separate shower. Now, the two secondary bathrooms share a hall bath. The built-in stone uh, fire pit outside in the backyard. Love it. Very nice. And I have the Big Daddy, 119 Lake Robinson Point in Greer Ooh. at 479.9. It's um, li lake living at its best. It's on a beautiful 800-acre lake located in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's perfect for bass fishing and brim right in your own dock. And, of course, it has great places for entertaining. The great room features a gas fireplace and leads into the kitchen where you will find granite countertops, tile backsplash, center island. I mean, it, it is a four large bedrooms and a rec room. It is perfect. And that's 119 Lake Robinson Point in Greer. A beautiful, beautiful, stunning home. MyGreenbelletHome.com is where you can find all of these. And we don't have to tell you, we really love Dan and his team here on Your Carolina. So if you're looking for a new career this morning, we have seven reasons to start a fast-paced career with Dan Hamilton. All right, I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to start <clears throat> the seventh reason, proven systems and models and a place to help you succeed. Mm -hmm. Number six, strong agent training and education. They're not going to leave you out to dry on your own. And number five, of course, they are a tech and enabled agency with custom KW software, and they have that award-winning culture, the work environment. Yeah. And also number three, receive support of our team and our assistants to make sure you're successful. They're really worried about you being the best you can be. Number two, robust CRM and marketing to provide you with qualified leads. To make sure you're getting people in the doors, in the seats to get those homes. And number one, my favorite, you get to show <laughs> up and sell and let the team take care of the rest. Boom. That's what people want to do, right? Just let me sell. <laughs> yeah. So those are some of the reasons. Visit Dan Hamilton and his team. They are just great people. We love them a lot. And he has great hair, too. He sure does. TV, <laughs> TV hair. Coming up, the Dorman High Drumline. Again, will entertain us. They're outside. We'll visit with them in a minute.